Hi, this is Goody Gofab, and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. I hope you're feeling gratitude today, because today our quote of the day is, This is a wonderful day. I've never seen this one before, by Maya Angelou. This is a great quote about gratitude, being happy for what comes, seeing what is as a blessing, living from a place of gratitude is only a choice that you need to make. You can either see the cup half full or half empty. This is a conscious choice that you need to make every moment of your life. When you live in gratitude of what you do have, you will feel lucky, abundant, and happy. And this will bring you more of the same feelings back to you. The more you make the choice to live uh, your life in gratitude of what you do have, the more your brain will get used to this line of thinking and the happier you will be overall. The most influential people of the world all understand that when you live from a place of gratitude, you will bring more things to be grateful for into your life. So how do you practice gratitude? Well, you have to choose to take all that comes to you that is not under your, your control as a present for you from the universe. A gratitude mindset understands that even what we may seem as what may seem as bad for us today will have some benefit for us in the long run. With this frame of mind, you will feel as though everything around you is there to support you on your path. You understand that there is nothing that can be a hindrance to you. All the things that happen to you or around you are there to benefit you in some form or way. And this is the frame of mind of gratitude. All that comes to you is basically in your favor. You may not understand what this favor is quite yet, but you know that this favor exists in some form and you will recognize it perhaps later in your life. When you can live your life in this way and surrender the results to the universe, then you are living a happy and fully fulfilled life. It is just a matter of choice. You can live your life feeling, oh, why did this terrible thing happen to me? Or you can live life thinking, oh, there must be something good about this in it for me, and I will find out what it is. You can see that the only thing that really changed here is the uh, perspective on the situation and not the situation itself. A perspective of gratitude will make you feel better about any situation. It will make you appreciate something about any situation, no matter how difficult the situation may seem. It is all about where you choose to place your focus. If you focus on the half full cup, then you tackle any problem from a place of having what you need and from a place of possibility and from ability and potential. And if you focus on the half empty cup, then you tackle any situation from lack or from disability or from an incompetence or weakness. From these two opposite frames of mind, which results would you actually like to have, which would seem better for you in your life? Well, obviously, living from gratitude will be more beneficial and more happy and more fun for you. It is only your choice. You can change your mindset right now. Gratitude will make you feel good, and life is all about how we feel. You do not have to have different circumstances in your life. You just have to feel better feelings about what is happening around you. And to, this will completely transform your life around. So stop worrying about what you currently lack and instead focus on what you do have. And from what you do have, you will surely find a way to help you get rid of any lack that you may feel in your life. I will give you an example from my life to make this uh, simpler to understand. My health food restaurants left me in a big debt after closing them down due to the coronavirus. I could have focused on the debt that I now had and I could have become miserable. But instead, I focused on what I did have at that time. The banks now offered an option to stop paying mortgages because uh, many people had lost their jobs due to the coronavirus lockdown and the restrictions. So banks offered a, the option not to pay your mortgage uh, for a period of a few months. And this was an opportunity for me to pay back part of my debts every month because I would not have to pay my mortgage payments. It is all about where you place your fo focus.
Will you place your focus on the lack in your life or on what you do have available for you? It is a choice. And the, the focus on being grateful for what you do have opens many doors of opportunity for you. Basically, all you need is right there, right in front of you. But you can only see it when you focus on the half full cup, when you live from gratitude of what you do have instead of what you have missing. And once you change your mindset to the half full cup, you will suddenly see that you really do have a lot and you have a lot to rejoice about. And this will also affect your health in a positive way because positive feelings reduce inflammation in the body and allow you to function at your best and also help you sleep better. Gratitude also reduces feelings of pain and increases your self-esteem. You see how powerful gratitude really is? It's incredible. You also want to show your gratitude to other people, not just to feel it within you. Now, people's deepest need is to feel appreciated. And the more appreciation you tend to show others, the more people will want to be around you. You will have more friends and you will have a happier social life. Also, your one-on-one -on -one relationships will be better. Showing appreciation is really so easy. All you have to do is say thank you and mean it, and people will feel your appreciation towards them. You can uh, give a tip to a waiter who serves you a nice, nice dish, and you can say some words of kindness to people who have helped you, and you can happily pay the realtor who found you a great house for you to live in. Or you can make a call or write a message of thanks to someone who has given of their time and effort for you. You definitely want to show your appreciation. It really does doesn't take much time or effort, but it gives the other person such a good feeling, which is priceless. John uh, Southard said that the only people with whom you should try to get even with are those people who have helped you. You must acknowledge that there is no one who has ever made it alone in this world. There are always people who have helped them. We are all born with specific gifts that we received from our parents and we should show appreciation for these gifts and the feel of joy of having these gifts and thank our parents for having for giving them to us living from gratitude does not allow you to take anything for granted everyone who is born and is alive has something to be grateful for nobody has any excuse for this the most i have actually ever learned about gratitude is from my mentally challenged daughters my two eldest mentally challenged daughters, they were my best teachers about life. Really, honestly, I say this. My second daughter, who is now 21 years old, she is such a happy girl. She appreciates and enjoys everything in her life, even though she does suffer from a mental disability. Whatever she gets, she makes it fun and enjoys it. And this is such a gift to live like this. All of the people that come in contact with her just absolutely love her because she is so grateful for everything and she shows all people her gratitude for what they provide for her. She lives her life happy and all of the people around her do too, thanks to her. And then everything becomes better for them. It's a win-win-win situation. I don't think she will ever really understand what she has done for me and how much I have learned and gained from her. But at least I can pass it on from from her, what I learned from her to you and to people who are interested uh, for anyone to benefit. So how can you increase your sense of gratitude? Well, I recommend focusing on things that you are grateful for at least twice a day, the moment you wake up uh, and the moment you go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and then I snooze my wake up clock. And during this time, during the snooze, I focus on what I have going for me. I do not allow any negative thoughts into this gratitude time. And this is also the time when it is easiest to insert positive thoughts into your subconscious mind to, re, uh, to refocus yourself because the conscious mind is still half asleep and does not guard what goes into the subconscious mind at this time. So it, it in comparison with what happens during the day when the conscious mind uh, says this is not real, this is real. So this is a time where you can plant into your subconscious mind anything good and gratitude is a great way to do it. I think about all the things that I have to be grateful for during these few minutes and this makes all my day much happier. And the second time is, as I said, right before you go to sleep. 
I personally put my phone on airplane mode and then I thank the universe for what I have in my life and show gratitude for all that I have. It takes me about two minutes, but this completely shifts my mind to the goodness that I have in my life and makes me feel good and happy with my life. I re really recommend you try this as well. Of course, you can feel gratitude at any time during the day, but it is easiest to remember to do this consistently during these two time periods of the day when you are lying there right before or right after you sleep without any distractions, alone with your thoughts, where you can focus them on anything that you desire. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answers will help move your life to a better place for you. And the questions of the day are, what can I be happy for today? And what are my gifts that I am thankful for? And what do I have in my life that makes me feel lucky and happy and appreciative? Well, I recommend, as usual, to write down these uh, questions and your answers in a special notebook made for these coaching sessions so that they can help you move your life to a better place. Make sure you're, on, you're focused and taking action in the right direction for your goals. So to finish this video off with, the affirmation of the day is, I am lucky and happy as I, am, I have much to be grateful for. I am, lack, I am happy and I am lucky as I have much to be grateful for. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to get anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you.